Welcome back people, I'm Zach and today we are heading to another Bothy. So this Bothy is situated at Ruahunish, which is the most northern point on the Isle of Skye and it's called the Lockout. I've actually been there once before, it was my first ever Bothy and I did it last year with my cousin Seth and we had a cracker actually. Uh, the views that day were stunning, amazing sunset and yeah, that's kind of what kick-started this love of Bothies was that, that night. So the Bothy itself is actually a former Coast Guard lookout built in 1928 and served up until the 1970s when advances in radio, telecom communications and all that suppressed the need for a coastal lookout. Uh, in 2005 then, there was a big storm which damaged quite a lot of it and so the Mountain Bothy Association uh, took ownership of it, renovated it up and it now serves as one of the most amazing bothies around. Uh, it's truly spectacular. Um, I'm sure you won't disagree when you see it. It's not as bad as I was anticipating, the clag has cleared, you can't see as far as Lewis and Harris, however the views are still pretty spectacular and I'll just put a picture up now comparing it today to what it was last year. Two sleeping bunks, so I was on the top, and then Kim and Dal on the bottom. Nice little kitchen area, you know, and then this is the main room. Obviously, you've got the incredible panoramic views all around. It's a really stunning place. And that's the Bothy really, it's a very small one, but you know, it's very beautiful as well. So we've got some company in the Bothy tonight, we've got Kim and Dal, um, very interesting people, they've travelled all across the globe, flipping out, they've done everything it seems. Uh, I'll link their YouTube in the description below for you, go check them out, go check them out. Uh, tonight we'll probably just have a few drinks, there's no fire sadly, but with views like this you can't really ask for much more. The next morning, I drank the coffee straight from the kettle, looking out over the amazing views that the morning had produced. So what a morning we are blessed with today. The lighting around is absolutely like, phenomenal. You can see right over to Lewis and Harris, uh, the Coolins as well, some fantastic rays of sun shining through the clouds and it's, it's, it's so nice. I wasn't expecting it to be honest with you. But I'll be real, this wasn't my first choice of trip for my days off. I would have loved to get into the mountains, I've got a new bivvy bag, I would have loved to try out. Uh, but the weather has just not been great. It's been very windy and it's the wind that actually kills these sort of mountain trips or whatever. The rain, the rain's okay but when it's windy and you're off a mountain and it's just not, it's not worth it really, it's too dangerous. I thought I'd make the most of my days off anyway and revisit this place and I'm very happy I did. I met some great people, I had a great night. And <laughs> yeah, it's just really nice to be back I guess and, and just being out doing things is always nice. Uh, going forward, I do have some plans to do some more mountain stuff. I want to adventure into the more hardcore stuff, so winter mountaineering, uh, winter camping, hiking, all of that stuff. Uh, more multi-day hikes. I've got 10 days of work in a row coming up and then I've got four days off and there's some there's some plans brewing for that there's something brewing. so I'm really looking forward to that um, what else and then yeah I'm just going to try and keep keep the videos coming I guess as I say more I want to do more hardcore stuff uh, I just need a break in the weather to facilitate that 
but you know, we'll just take it how it comes and that's all you can do up here and the weather changes just so frequently.